Well, Gabriel, my fellow editors and myself, we've just produced the 12th edition of the Organic Farm Management Handbook and uh, it's quite a, a relief to get it off our desks, I can assure you. Um, but um, I'm particularly interested to know um, what, uh, how, how you've made use of previous copies from your, your perspective uh, with the, the BDAA and, uh, and certification. So I found it a really interesting tool to work with my work in certification, looking at producers and with them saying, can we do this, can we not do that? And looking at what their um, turnover was, what their productivity was, and sometimes being, because of that book, in a position to challenge their assumptions that they could or couldn't do certain things. Particularly mm. the tendency to say, oh, well, it's organic, you're not going to get very good crops, therefore I'm doing <laughs> it this way. And having some facts and figures to say, yes, you can do so many leaks and get certain tonnage per a half acre or whatever, that was really helpful. Um, looking at productivity of peas and things like that. I felt it was a really good reference book for me, from the certification point of view, but also to encourage um, maybe some of the less experienced producers to pick up and look at specific things, search something that interested them or a question that they had about productivity, about spacings, about tonnage, because then I felt they could do better planning and they had something to reference good or bad, mm -hmm. what they produced, good or better than the book or not as good as yes. the book. It was a reference and as such I felt it was really interesting. Mm. Oh, yeah, that, and, that is yeah. interesting from a certification <laughs> point of view. Because yeah. obviously uh, originally we set out to try and provide information for farmers and growers and, and the benchmarking is, I think is, is quite important. Um, and as you say, it gives people an, a, an idea of what others are achieving and they can then identify the sort of strengths and weaknesses of what, what they're doing. We're also trying to draw on all of the, as well as doing gross margins, um, we try to give some basic sort of, uh, as, sort of practical information about uh, seed rates and so on. And hopefully that, that's also useful for the, for the growers that you're working with. Absolutely, and that sort of thing's useful in what I was talking about this morning in wanting to find land as a new grower. What are you looking at? How do you do your business plan? What are you saying to the landowner? And having a reference book like that you can go back to and build your business plan from, it, it's invaluable really mm. because you have to have some basic data to be able to work out a, a, even a three year business plan, mm. especially if you're new to the the whole thing. Mm. So that reference is really good and I really respect the certification manager we had when I started working in certification because he said this is a book that everyone working here should understand. So he got one for all, each of us and, and that was really valuable mm. and when I saw there was a new version coming out I thought great, it's about time. Yes it is about time. <laughs> okay yeah. well that's very useful, thank you very very much indeed yeah. Gabriel. Yeah. Oh, well it's a pleasure and it's really great that there is a new version that you guys have, yeah. have really worked to, to, to produce that. Thank you. So, thank yeah. you. Thank you.